So we saw some example of how to apply a new model of computation to, 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 the, to, the, to known problems and try to bridge the gap between theory and practice. So the previous slide or the pre previous video was an example of some theoretical justification and uh, in other words, extra theory that we can do using newer models in algorithm, in algorithm engineering or in general computer science. But algorithm engineering also involves experiments. Whatever we do in terms of theory, we have to also show that it is backed up with the experiment. In other words, it is not sufficient to just give a reasonable model without doing experiments. So experiments are a vital part of algorithm engineering. It's also going to be they're also going to be a vital part of your projects. So um, what is an experiment? So typically, experiment means that you implement an algorithm, you run it, and then you measure how long it takes on a particular input. Okay, but what to measure is actually can be quite complicated and you can actually come up with lots of interesting things when it comes to what to measure. So the typical things to measure is like CPU time, number of clock cycles, clock time, number of cache misses, number of IOs and etc. For a lot of these things, there are tools and packages available that you can measure them. So CPU time, probably everybody knows how to measure them. You just get the time and um, calculate the differences. But measuring, let's say, clock cycles or cache misses could be more complicated, but they can be done, especially in modern architectures or modern CPUs. The CPUs have internal um, counters that count these things, and there are also specific packages that allow you to, to read uh, or to calculate number of cache misses and IOs and stuff. But people typically in, ignore one very powerful way of doing measurement, and those are called counters. By, by counter, what I mean is, is a variable that you write in your, inside your program, and it just measures something. So in other words, counters are software uh, counters that you yourself code inside your code. In other words, you can count the number of comparisons by having a counter that counts number of comparisons. And every time in your code you compare two numbers in your sorting algorithm, for example, you can increase the counter. Obviously, it will make your code loss, uh, lose a little bit of efficiency because now your code spends some time uh, taking care of these counters. But there are much more robust ways of uh, doing measurements. In particular, there are lots of issues with, let's say, with the first three class of measurements. For example, CP time can be a bit misleading. It is, and all of these uh, things are machine dependent. Oh, operating system and other factors can change them. For example, if you're having, if you're measuring the running time of your algorithm, and if you're running another application in the background, then you're not sure how much CPU time your program is actually getting. So your measurement could be a little bit off. And the thing about counters is that these are, since they're software counters, they're kind of uh, oblivious to the um, dependency on the machine. In other words, if you're counting a number of comparisons in your code, it doesn't matter on which hardware you're running it, it's just going to give you the same result. So therefore, I would um, really suggest you, you think a lot about how we can experiment with counters. And we're going to see some examples later on, so just don't forget this, because these first three things are very obvious and easy, but the counters are actually much more powerful when it comes to collecting data and doing experiments. Remember, the main goal of algorithm engineering is to understand things, is to form a hypothesis, collect data, and verify things, and maybe refute hypotheses. And for that, counters are really, really a uh, very big tool. Um, then the next thing I want to talk about is the modeling the performance. Actually, I'll do it in the next video.